Hello guys. All right. So in this video, I'm going to give you a very simple and easy three step process to find related entities for your main keywords. And that could be for a service page, or it could also be for a blog post that you're writing on your website or whatever actually that you're doing. And let's just uh, show you, let me show you the recipe. So what you are going to do is that you're going to go to Google and search for your keywords plus <clears throat> Wikipedia. So for example, if I am writing <coughs> a blog post about web page schema, and I want to rank for web page schema, and I want to find entities that Google think is related to web page schema, I do like this, Wikipedia, web page schema and Wikipedia. Because what I'm seeing now is the uh, top Wikipedia pages that Google thinks is, re is relevant to the search term for web page schema. So I can see that in my example, it's schema.org. <clears throat> Database schema is also relevant. And I scroll down, I can see there was a Wikipedia page for microdata, HTML. And uh, do, 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 do. so XML schema and uh, so on, and, and semantic web and so on and so forth. So actually all of these entities are extremely good. And I can, I, with my knowledge of the topic, I can see that they are actually very relevant. So uh, that's number one, go to Google and search for a keyword and Wikipedia. And what I would do uh, then I would copy at least the entities from page one and also page two, if they seem relevant. All right, so now you have a list of entities. Let's say in my case, I have five, six entities probably. So what I would, uh, the number three step is click on the top most relevant entity, go to Wikipedia and find what links to this page. And let me show you what you, why you want to do that because I click on schema.org and uh, what I will do now is I will, uh, I'll actually capture this. Good, copy. So this is my entity, good. And then I'll copy this guy here, good. And I could actually also go to Wikidata. Wikidata, let's see here, and search for schema.org to find, <clears throat> uh, here it is, uh, to find actually also this URL. Uh, because uh, what I can then do is I, if I'm writing web page schema and I'm writing and uh, putting entities into the about and the mention section, I can then say that this is the keyword, this, that's the entity, and this is the same as uh, URL for Wikipedia, and this is the same as URL for Wikidata. So anyway, so uh, but we still haven't uh, done, we're still not done with step number three, so let's go to Wikipedia. So now I'm inside Wikipedia and see all of the things that I'm linking out to, but I can also see all of the pages that are linking to this page. So the pages that are linking to the page with schema.org are of course topically somehow related to schema.org. So I can click this guy here, what links here. So what I will be seeing now is a, in this case, very large list of entities that are all somehow related to schema.org, the entity schema.org. So I can see schema, ontology, DABA, agent, DAGA language, Blair page, database, Dublin core, Google search, and so on and so forth. So what I would do in this case is I would uh, probably, I would go through them and then I'll just, you know, click on, for example, this guy here, database. And if I think that this is relevant, I'll copy it. I do like this, database, then I have the entity, <clears throat> this database, and then I have the same as URL if I'm going to include it in my schema mark, my web page schema markup. So that's actually how you find related entities from Wikipedia and also Wikidata for your main keywords. 
And uh, so the last step is what you're actually going to do with these entities. So what I do is I put as many related entities as I uh, can possibly uh, use into my articles or my service pages, my, the text of my service pages. And of course, I also put these entities and the uh, same as URLs into my web page schema. Of course, I'm not doing the schema manually anymore since I have schema writer. I'm going to make videos about that in the future, how we use that. But uh, the uh, the part of, you know, actually writing the actual content that includes the entities is you can use SimWriter, you can use ChatGPT, or you can write it by hand, or you can take actually optimize an, an existing article and put in these entities. If if the entities is if they're not in the content, then do it manually, just, you know, insert the entities where you think that it fits. But uh, yeah, that is it for now. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.